Hi, I'm Christoph, the product manager from Gravity Global, and my goal of today is to show you the new features that we brought with version 1.15. Let's talk about language variations first. With Gravity 1.15, we bring a new concept, how you can handle multi-language scenarios. Sometimes Gravity can find an element in multi-language applications. In the past, you used aliases to overcome such issues. That worked, but was not a straightforward process. With 1.15, we bring you a concept that makes it easy to assign elements on another language variation of the same application. Here we are in SAP Success Factors, and we have a callout here attached to the title Quick Actions. If we change the language to German, the callout can't be assigned anymore and therefore is placed in the hotspot collector. From here, you might now make use of attach as language variation and paste it to the correct element in the new language. Now the callout sticks to two elements, the English original and the German one. And of course, you can remove all variation in that menu. If you do this, all variations are removed except for the one you created first. The language variation feature can be activated and deactivated on site level. You find a checkbox to activate it in the general tab named Show Multilanguage Context Menu. Let's see what's new in workflows. There are scenarios where you use a must click on an element and can't just press the forward arrow. But the user tend to press the forward arrow instead of pressing the button of the side. We brought in a new feature that tackles that problem and makes it easier for you and your user. We call it mouse click only. So how you configure this? If you go to the workflow step in question, in edit step number two, in the drop down list navigation options, you see now the option mouse click only. If we choose this option and go back to the user mode, we see that the user can't forward on this step since the forward arrows are missing. Instead, we show the user a hint indicating that he needs to press the element on the site itself. The next new feature I want to demonstrate is called Always Open at Once. Yes, it's the big brother of Open at Once. As the name indicates, it never marks the callout as read. It will forever be unread by all users. So every time Gravity is activated, that callout can now be configured to always open automatically. Use this function to help users with governance information or links to other documents who are needed for certain processes in your application. If a user activates Gravity now, the callout opens. Note how the hotspot don't indicate the red status. He is still on red. The user now closes the callout and turns Gravity off. Once the user activates Gravity again, the callout opens, since it's still in the status of unread. You might also build use cases where you combine that feature with the enforced feature. With that combination, you can automatically open support callouts when certain warnings or other elements are displayed. Just use a combination of always open at once, enforce callout, and wait once for callout target. Two minor things, but still new features, are left to demonstrate. First, let's talk about hide the hotspot collector. Sometimes when you have a lot of callouts in the hotspot collector, you can see site elements behind the collector. To deal with it, we optimize the design of the hotspot collector. It uses now less space than before. But now you also have the possibility to close the hotspot collector for the editing session. But not only that, you might cut a hotspot from the collector, close the hotspot collector and paste it underneath. A small but very handy new function. The last new thing I wanted to show today is something a lot of you ask for. 
In edit mode, the authors now see what kind of callout they are editing. And no, you can't change the type right now, but you anticipated it correctly. The radio buttons will be working shortly. Also, I would like to mention that Gravity now fully supports Microsoft Dynamics, but I do not demonstrate it here, since you all know how Gravity works. The release contains a lot of bug fixes and optimization. If you're keen to see what that is, please check out the release note on our public wiki. I hope you like these new features as much as we do. All software as a service customers will be updated automatically. All others get the link sent by email. Until the next time, au revoir.